In order to be approved for use on board ships, bilge water separators have to meet tight standards, and these are set out in guidelines from the IMO and in type approvals from classification societies and regulatory bodies. These say that bilge separators should be capable of producing an effluent for discharge to the sea containing not more than 15 ppm of oil, irrespective of the oil content of the feed supplied to it. And that it must be capable of handling emulsions. However, remember we said that the aim was to produce a discharge as near to clean water as possible. We can help the separator to do this and reduce the maintenance required on the separator. If we separate out most of the oil and solids before we start, because most of them will settle out naturally under gravity. This chapter will help you to recognize the benefits of proper bilge water pretreatment. You will also learn what can help separation in the bilge holding tank. You will get some tips on how and why creating stable emulsions in bilge water should be avoided. Pay attention to this chapter, as only proper pretreatment of bilge water will let the separator work smoothly for a long time without major breakdowns. But before we start. Solve this riddle: What might bilge water, mayonnaise, and hand cream have in common? Emulsion. First of all, the bilge holding tank is for bilge water. Waste oil or sludge should go to the sludge tank, from where it can either be burned in an incinerator or discharged to shore reception facilities. The piping arrangements should be such that if we are transferring sludge, it cannot end up in the bilge separator tank. There may be some provision to strip water from the bottom of the sludge tank to the bilge tank, but this must be via an open hopper or sight glass, so that we can see that it is actually water. Marple specifies which arrangements are acceptable and which are not. Here are just a few examples. This arrangement is allowed because the connection is through a sight glass or hopper. This arrangement is allowed because the non-return valve prevents flow from the sludge system into the bilge system. This arrangement would not be allowed. Because there is a direct connection between the sludge system and the bilge system, this arrangement would not be allowed. Because there is a direct connection between the sludge system and the bilge system. Separation in the bilge holding tank can be helped by time, heat, and calm seas. Calm weather and time will allow the oil and water to separate due to gravity. And heat helps reduce the viscosity of the oil, which speeds up the separation process. A temperature above 50 degrees Celsius is recommended for ships where bilge water might be contaminated with heavy oil. The suction pipe for the bilge separator should be above the heating coils to avoid sucking sediments from the bilge tank and sending them to the bilge separator. To help us separate the oil and water, the best designs of bilge water tanks use at least two stages in series, with the first stage overflowing into the second. We will be able to skim oil off from above the surface of the water, and also drain sludge and solids from the bottom of the tanks. As you know. Bilge water is water that gathers in the engine room bilges. Unfortunately, on its way there, it can become contaminated with small solid particles, detergents and soaps, and dispersants. All of these increase the difficulty of having totally clean water at the outlet from the bilge water separator. The formation of stable emulsions in bilge water 
creates a particularly difficult situation for the bilge water separator to deal with. Since it is harder to separate the water from the small droplets of oil in a stable emulsion. An oil dispersant is a mixture of emulsifiers and solvents that helps break oil into small droplets. Dispersants are often used deliberately following an oil spill. Dispersants are also a constituent within fuel oil additives and lubricating oil additives. Although IMO guidelines are quite clear that bilge water separators should still be effective if supplied with a stable emulsion, we will get improved separation if we can avoid forming emulsions in the first place. The greatest source of chemicals which can cause stable emulsions to form is probably the cleaning agents and detergents we might use in the engine room. We should be using cleaning agents that are listed as being quick separating, environmentally friendly, and non toxic. Some suppliers will specify that their products are compatible for use with bilge separators. We should also try and eliminate the leakage of fuel oil and lubricating oil additives into the bilge wells, since these contain dispersants which promote the formation of emulsions. The bilge holding tank is for bilge water. Waste oil or sludge should go to the sludge tank, from where it can either be burned in an incinerator or discharged to shore reception facilities. Marple specifies which arrangements are acceptable and which are not. The best designs of bilge water tanks use at least two stages in series, with the first stage overflowing into the second. Small solid particles, detergents and soaps and dispersants make the job of the separator more difficult. Avoid the use of cleaning products that create stable emulsions. We should choose quick separating, environmentally friendly cleaners. And any leakage of fuel oil and lubricating oil additives into the bilge wells should be eliminated.